Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd share my current favorite healthy breakfasts. I know sometimes we fall into this routine whenever it comes to breakfast because many people just don't have time. I mean, mornings can get really busy. So we end up eating the same thing every single day or some people just even skip breakfast altogether. But please don't do that. Breakfast is extremely important. So today I'll be sharing four healthy breakfast ideas that I've personally been enjoying. They're all super healthy and most importantly, they're delicious. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with this quinoa cereal. All you need is half a cup of quinoa and your favorite fruit. All I do is cook the quinoa in one cup of water. This usually takes about 10 minutes. Then I fluff it using a fork and serve it in a bowl. I like to add some banana and strawberry slices. And lastly, I drizzle some honey right on top and bam, ready to eat. Quinoa contains all the essential amino acids we need for protein. It's full of nutrients and antioxidants. It has a nutty flavor and it's an excellent way to start off your morning. Way better than boxed cereal. Next up is this protein peanut butter smoothie. This is for all those busy people that don't have a whole lot of time and need something quick. All I use is half a cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of all-natural peanut butter. The only ingredient on this should be peanuts, no added sugars or preservatives. Two tablespoons of chia seeds and half of a banana. Put everything into a blender and blend away. This is my current favorite smoothie. It's so deliciously creamy. It has about 12 grams of protein and it keeps me feeling satisfied for hours. Now if you're not really feeling a sweet breakfast and you want something a little more savory, here's what I'd like to eat. All you need is a slice of Ezekiel bread, and this is the healthiest bread you could ever eat. It's made from organic sprouted whole grains, it doesn't have any added sugars, and it's a complete source of protein. We also need an avocado and one egg. So first, I like to lightly toast my bread, and in the meantime, I scramble the egg. Then I take out the bread and add slices of avocado. This is packed with healthy fats and vitamin E. And I like to mash it with a fork to create more of a spread. Then I top it off with the eggs and it's ready to eat. This is the yummiest thing ever and it's quite satisfying with something like a strawberry yogurt smoothie on the side. So if you have absolutely no time to make anything in the mornings, these overnight oats could be a solution for you. All you need is half a cup of oats, one cup of almond milk, some fresh berries, and a jar or bowl. Add the milk and oats into a jar, close it, and place it in your fridge the night before. The oats will absorb the milk overnight and they'll be ready to eat the next day. So just take them out in the morning and add your berries. I like to add raspberries and blueberries, and then I drizzle some raw honey right on top. So as you can see, they're super easy to prepare. You can take them on the go, and they're a great way to start off your morning. I think there's no excuse to not eat healthy. The more nutrients you include in your meals, the better your body will function. It'll keep you feeling fuller for longer, and overall, you're just going to feel much better. So I really hope these gave you some ideas or inspired you to make something different. Sometimes we just need to see something from another point of view and then we come up with ideas of our own. So whatever the case is, I encourage you all to try different things. Breakfast shouldn't be boring. And yes, they can be delicious and healthy at the same time. So please share your favorite healthy breakfast ideas in the comment section below so we can all try them out and motivate each other. And if you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to click the like button. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye! I also didn't want a moisturizer full of chemicals, so I decided to make my own using all natural ingredients and it definitely solved the problem. I've been using it for weeks now and need to go back in six weeks and if everything looks good, they're going to schedule me to get my braces off. So I was like, really? I couldn't believe it. I honestly thought I was...